Hello everyone, welcome to my device. In this video, we will be studying about the migratory motor complex. This is the third video in the series of motility of GIT. So let's start. So quickly brushing upon what we have learned in the previous videos, we have two types of motilities, electrical motility and mechanical motility. In electrical motility, you have the basal electrical rhythm or BERs. In mechanical motility, there can be two situations the fed state meaning after eating the food or the fasting state. In the fed state, you have peristalsis and segmentation and in the fasting state, you have migratory motor complex. So we have already studied about the BERs and the peristalsis and segmentation. In this video, we will study about MMCs. So let's start by understanding what exactly are they. So these are cycles of electromechanical activity which occur in the GIT during the fasting period very important so as we just saw unlike the peristalsis and segmentation which happen after you eat food mmcs happen in the interdigestive period so if they give a question about migratory motor complex they can mention either fasting periods or interdigestive period now before jumping on to how they work we need to know why exactly do we need them so as we had seen in the previous video whenever you eat food the food has to propel in the forward direction, meaning from the mouth towards the inner canal. This is done by peristalsis, where a contractile ring is formed in the GIT, which helps in propelling the food forwards. You also have segmentation, where the food or chyme which is in the GIT is chopped up into smaller and smaller pieces. How does this happen? This happens when the part in the GIT which is relaxed is contracted, and the contracted part relax. Whenever this keeps on happening over and over again, the chyme will get chopped up into smaller pieces. This is called segmentation. But now even after all this segmentation and peristalsis, still some amount of food or gastric juices or some debris may be left behind. So what are we going to do in this case? Here is where the migratory motor complex comes in. So these act as a housekeeper of the small intestine by clearing out the food residue and the shed enterocytes. So in a way they are sweeping the whole GIT and in fact they help clearing the GIT for the next food. They are also helpful in transporting the bacteria from the small intestine to the large intestine. So if there is any problem in the MMCs and it is not working, there will be a buildup of the bacteria in the small intestine leading to bacterial overgrowth. Now let's see these MMCs in a bit more detail. There are three phases of the MMCs. You have the phase 1, the phase 2 and the phase 3. Phase 1 is the quiescent phase where not much activity takes place. Phase 2 is where there are small irregular contractions taking place but do not really help in propagating the stuff forwards. Finally, you have the phase 3 where strong contractions take place. Let's represent them in a graphical format. So here we are seeing the contractile activity on the y-axis and the time. I have color coded the phases here. So here you can see phase 1 where almost no activity is taking place. Then you have phase 2 where small irregular contractions are taking place. And finally you have the phase 3. This phase 3 is the one where there are strong contractions taking place which help in clearing the GIT. And very very importantly, this cycle of phase 1, 2 and 3 gets repeated every 90 minutes. Well, not exactly 90 but around 90 to 100, 120 minutes. But if you have to remember one number, remember 90 minutes. Finally, how are these complexes regulated? So these MMCs are initiated by the hormone called as motilin. Very important to remember. And also whenever you take food, the secretion of this hormone decreases due to which the MMCs are also abolished. So if you keep on snacking after every one or two hours, these MMCs are not going to be able to work due to which your GIT will not be properly cleared. Now to finish off this video, let us see a few questions. Try to pause the video and answer these yourself first and then try to compare the answer with mine. Which of the following phases of the migratory motor complex is characterized by intense rhythmic contractions? Phase 1, 2, 3 or 4? So I think it's a very easy answer. The correct option here is option C or phase 3 where the strongest contractions take place. Next question. 
what is the main hormone involved in regulating the MMCs? Again, we just saw the hormone which is responsible here is motilin. Next, during which phase of the migratory motor complex does a gradual increase in the contractile activity occur? So pay attention here. The question is asking about the phase where gradual increase takes place. So gradual increase is seen in phase two, right? Where there are small irregular contractions taking place. Next, what is the typical duration of a complete migratory motor complex cycle? 30 to 60 minutes, 60 to 90, 90 to 120 or 120 to 150. So here you can see that 90 minutes is mentioned in two options. But as I had mentioned before, the correct option here is 90 to 120 minutes. Final question, the migratory motor complex primarily functions to digest food during feeding, clear the stomach and intestine of indigestible substances, increase nutrient absorption or regulate bile secretion. So I'm pretty sure every one of us knows this answer. The correct option here is option B because the function is to clear of the GIT of anything that might remain. That's it for this video. If you have any doubts, so feel free to message me on Instagram or leave them in the comments. Thank you.